Key for our start today's Retro Bat in TYR Quake or Quake Setup Guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Quake today and yes, inside of Retro Bat it's actually got an engine which supports this game. So first of all, if we just right click on the Retro Bat shortcut, open file location, Go down to ROMs. From here, if you scroll down, you're going to find a folder here. And you probably pass this many times as you're putting your games into your folders. You probably thought nothing else of it. So just here, we got TYR Quake. If we just open this one up. Now, I've got a package just there. This is tyrquake.zip. If we go in here, we're going to find a Quake folder. If I just extract this onto the desktop for now. Okay, so once that's extracted, I can now delete that zip folder. So the one I've got is Quake and in brackets tyrquake.zip. So let's just delete this one. Now, if we open up that Quake folder, we're going to have four subfolders in here. What I need to do with these is drag each one into that tyr Quake folder inside of RetroBat. Okie dokes, once that's done, what we're going to do now is just delete that Quake folder I just very quickly created and open up RetroBat. Okay, so once we're inside of RetroBat, if we just scroll through, we're not going to find Quake at all. The reason being is that it's in ports. Now, it looks very annoying. This is the game itself, Pack 0, and we've also got Pack 1. If you want the actual symbol come up or the logo for the game itself, if you just press the start button to bring up main menu inside of RetroBat, go down to game collection settings, systems displayed, and if we scroll downwards, we're going to find a port section. If we just disable ports and press B to come out, we're now going to find Quake has actually got a logo, and here it is. Now, just bear in mind, this is a very old PC game, but having said that, it's not going to really demand anything substantial in terms of computer. So, if we open up the game, you can open up the game pretty much just by pressing A on pack zero. So yes, it's looking very old, almost looks like an original PlayStation game, maybe a little bit worse. What we can actually do is press select button to view options, advanced system options, and you can start cleaning how it looks up just here. So if we go to shader set, maybe pop on enhanced. If we go to decorations, I'm actually going to put this to none. Game aspect ratio, I'm going to put this one on to full. Integer scaling, I'm going to turn that on to take away those really blocky polygons. Vertical sync, I'm going to put this one on to yes. Internal resolution, now we can bump this up to six times. Now, like I said, Quake is a very old game, so you're not going to need anything demanding. I wouldn't have thought to support these type of settings. If we go down to video, we got four small screens, so may as well pop this one on as well. We also got enable HDR, so if you've got an HDR screen, just put this one on yes. Uh, we got CRT screen output. Now I'll put this one on 31 kilohertz standard and it seems to be working fine for my screen. Uh, we also got visual rendering just here. If we go down to smooth games, uh, again, we can turn this one on if we want to smooth all those polygon and pixels up. Video filters, we got a load of filters in here. Uh, we can have scan lines if you want. But anyways, let's have a look how this is actually looking now uh, since I put all these video settings into place.
And that's it for today's Retro Bat TYR Quake, or just Quake setup guide from Windows PC. So a fairly simple setup, and you can really make Quake look awesome in this day and age with probably even the most basic computer. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit the notification, subscribe and like. And just remember, I've got two Retro Bat dedicated playlists. I've got a help playlist as well as a general setup guide for various different systems that RetroBat supports. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.